If you think about traditional street performers, you might not imagine them dancing with the legendary New York City Ballet. But CBS News cultural correspondent, that would be Wynton Marcellus, is here to introduce us to one dancer who has done exactly that. Wynton, good morning. Good morning. Jukin is a Memphis street dance usually performed to rap music. But when Charles Little Buck Riley got a hold of it, he added a style and grace all his own. And now he's taking that dance form from the streets to the world stage. When Charles Little Buck Riley performs, it's as if he's gliding on water, defying gravity. Jukin is his dance and he's been called the Barishnikov of it. The Jukin is such a freestyle-based dance mm -hmm. that, you know, it's all really influenced by your imagination. You know they mad cause they, cause they... Recently, Buck, as he's known, has been wowing audiences across the globe. He's performed with Madonna at the Super Bowl, in Gap ads, music videos, and as a member of Cirque du Soleil's Vegas show, Michael Jackson won. But his soaring career has very humble roots. He learned to juke on the streets of Memphis, where the dance was born. And just five years ago was entertaining crowds on the streets of LA to make ends meet. We didn't want to just be in a dance studio with like a bunch of mirrors and stuff like that. We really loved the whole organic feel of, of the dance. I believe that's what made it what it was. That's what made people feel it more because it was really organic, you know? Give me so, a good rhythm just to set you so, up. Right. Um, it's the buck jump. Like many dances, Jukin is defined by a few fundamental moves. And we have the surfboard. But it's the improvising Point toe. that makes it sing. Push toe. So I want you to show me what you would add to those to make it be Lil Buck style. Oh, yeah, just all the in-between. Everything in-between is okay. all me. So show me. What does it take to be an innovator? Man, just a vivid imagination, drive, and um, just passion for what you do. Because when you have all those, you're just driven to, to make up new things. It's that imagination and drive that separated Buck from other dancers early on. In high school, a dedicated teacher encouraged him to take ballet classes to gain strength and form. It was there that she issued him a jukin challenge. She was just thinking, and she was like, I want you to try something, Buck. Just, um, I want you to just do what you do, but just try it to this music. But she put in the CD and it was the swan. A few hours later, he improvised this performance to French composer Camille Sasson's The Swan. It just got an amazing reaction from the kids that were there. Like the kids, all you hear was, <gasps> wow! <Ooh." laughs> Three years later, New York City Ballet principal dancers Heather Watts and Damian Wetzel were awestruck by Buck's interpretation. They orchestrated an informal meeting with the legendary cellist Yo-Yo Ma. He just opened up his cello, cello right? case and yeah. just got to work. No other words said, and I just, it just came out right there. Like, in that moment, we just made magic happen. Unbeknownst to them, famed director Spike Jones was there. He recorded the collaboration on his phone and posted the video online. It went viral and everything changed. It was great. It was really, everything was fast paced though. You know, my, my career just sped up so, so much. I was always busy. Through it all, he's challenged the perceptions and stereotypes of the hip hop street dance. He's performed his iconic swan routine everywhere from Beijing to Colorado, where he was the artist in residence at the Vail International Dance Festival. I don't just necessarily limit myself to a certain genre of music either. Music can be like a, a limitation. Like a lot of people just uh, dance to rap music in Memphis. I'm influenced by all sounds, period. And this month, he took the Memphis street dance to the pinnacle of the art when he made his Lincoln Center debut with the fabled New York City Ballet. Just one more step 
in his unfolding plan. I love the dance that was so beautiful that it deserves to be in the category like ballet and jazz and modern. On point and in full swing, Lil Buck continues to make waves throughout the dance community. And luckily for the rest of us, he has no intentions of stepping down anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell me the yeah. essence of what we just saw. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's, he's a genius at his form. And he, it's actually what the, what the, what the, they were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, Levitt and Dubner, talking about creativity and the ability yeah. to combine yeah. things. Like yes. he said, music was a limitation. Yes. He, could, he, he said his body remembers things. Does he have any bones in his body? <laughs> it's amazing how he just glides. Our, he's, he's our yoga's amazing. been very or good to something. him. something, wow. Conceptually, he's unbelievably Listen, too. Yeah. thank you. It's not just the kids that are going, oh, wow, everybody in the studio, right. oh, wow, go Buck. Yeah. Salas and Kendrick strike again. That's right. <laughs> Love it. Thank, thank you so much. Thank we'll you. be right back. Thank you.